Now, why my country people, oh, all this saga going on because of DNA tests? Wonder shall never cease to end. As Mrs. Chiwo and Pastor Blessed are shocked that after releasing their son's picture, that is the face of the child to the general public, it resorted to all kinds of saga. It resulted to all kinds of dragging. Oh, my, what type of country is this? So she revealed her son's face, it now becomes a problem. Many people are now saying that this child looks like Nathan Bassi. Some are saying that she was very close to Nathan Bassi before she got married to Pastor Blessed. And even many people are not even afraid to say it. Some even came publicly and say, Pastor Blessed, if I were you, I will go and do a DNA test on Caris. Oh my goodness, wonder shall never cease to end though. What is actually happening in this country? She, ever since this man put to bed, she has not revealed his son's face. But ever since she revealed it, it was from one problem to the other, dragging her here and there. My country people, people should just allow this little child to rest for crying out loud. Eh? Imagine this child grew up and it happened that this child have come to the age of getting married and he was about to get married to a lovely, beautiful babe. And it happened that this child was among the people that dragged him when he was still younger. Oh my goodness, what will be the first of you as the parents of the girl that this child wants to get married to? Please and please, my country people, oh, try and minimize the rate of dragging and saga in this country, especially when it comes to infants. Oh, my, my country people, oh, children are gifts from God. And the, and the popular adage that says that I'm an able woman, and it says that once a woman is married to a man, oh, any child the woman puts to bed, as far as she's under the roof of that man, it automatically belongs to the husband. That is how it is in, my, in this country, oh, my country people. Oh, you push, you minimize the rate of dragging in this country for crying out loud. Now, let's analyze the face of this child. Many of you portray that this child looks like Nathan Ebasi. Some are saying, yes, please go and do a DNA test result. Imagine that. You people want to put a son in this marriage. You people want this marriage, this lovely marriage to just scatter. These two marriages, because this is now involving two marriages, that of Nathan Ebasi and that of Pastor Blessed. Because Nathan Ebasi wife will be shocked to say, okay, my husband is now cheating on me after having so many kids for him. What is, is, he, is he looking for where mercy is? Is she not enough for him? Why going to mercy? Now, you are now putting Asunda in, in Nathan Ebasi's home and you are also putting Asunda in Mercy Chiwon's home because the husband will say, ah, I am a pastor and now my wife is not cheating on me. What is all this, this and that, that and this? But now let's analyze the face of this child. Looking at this video now, you will see Mercy Chiwon and you will see this child face. Mainly first children, first especially once it is a male child, they look after their mother. Yes. If you don't know it, know it now. Check very well. Male children, the first male children, the first born, and they are male. They took after their mother. They are they are, are copycats of their mother. Yes, replicates of their mother. They look exactly like their mother, and nothing else, and nothing else. So now, why are people pressurizing Mary, Mesichimo, Mesichimo? Please go and do a DNA test result. Why asking Pastor Blessed to go and do the DNA result? Because the child has a big eye. And Nathaniel Bassi have big eye. But Nathaniel Bassi have come to clear the air that he is not the child. He's not the father of this child. And he did not mingle with Mercy Chiwo. And some of you are still dragging and dragging and dragging. Bloggers are still blogging, blogging, blogging and blogging. And Mercy Chiwo, she has been silent to these people that have been dragging her here and they just want Mercy Chiwo to come and talk. They are just preaching and saying that she's not doing what she, she's she's not doing what she's preaching. She's a gospel singer and she's not doing exactly what she's she's singing. You get that? And now one man again still come out, one of Mercy Chiwo's producer. He came out and was ranting that Mercy Chiwo don't want to help him, this and that, that and this. After everything, he still came out and said that Mr. Chin will help him. Does he mean that Mr. Chin should continue to help it, to helping him? Uh -uh, that this is not how life is because you don't expect someone to keep feeding you. Someone has fed you before. It is less for you to pick up some lessons and be a man for yourself. This is a married woman for crying out loud. We all have our own problems. You don't expect someone that is still carrying out his or her family problem to still come and carry your own problem for you, whereas you are a man. It is not done that way, my country people. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification button so that you get notified once i upload a new video so you come and watch the latest video of your of your of, of, of your celebrity of your own choice of celebrity please thank you very much once you subscribe like i said this is the result saga of issue 
please allow this particular, these two couples to drink water and keep cup. My people, oh, this life, they say, is not easy. You get it. Now, I didn't think this woman is aware that this, her child, we will drive this way. You know, by the bloggers in Nigeria, she wouldn't have posted her child's face on the social media app in the first place. She would have just returned it that she has done ever since she put to bed to this child. Now, online in-laws and online draggers have been waiting for this girl to, to release his son's face for them to start dragging. Or more Nigerian Bloggers Association. Make una mellow down. Make una take things suffer, suffer. Nobody is perfect. Is it because you people are hiding your own child's face? If it happened that you guys are now more celebrities and be releasing your sons or your children's faces on the social media app and your husband or more, it will be a lot of questions. Yes, many people will be questioned. Many people will still ask your husbands to go and carry out a DNA test on your children just to know if actually you are cheating on your husbands or not. So let's take things easy in this country because you don't know who is who. Because people that you are pointing finger at, just look at it, you are pointing one finger at someone else and the rest fingers are now pointing at you. Imagine that, to show you that you are not perfect, to portray the act, to just to portray that nobody is perfect in this life. So stop pointing an accusing finger on someone else when you know that you are not perfect for crying out loud. We all are guilty in one way or the other. Yes, in this country, we all are guilty. So stop pointing an accusing finger to someone else. We don't know who is who. Yes, you that has been accusing this woman, telling this woman that she cheated on her husband, Pastor Blessed, are you better? Are you better? You can't lie to yourself. That is just it. Your instincts can't lie to you. And this man, Pastor Blessed, and his lovely wife have remained calm despite all this saga going on on the social media app. They have been going from one place to the other, disseminating messages of word of God through their songs. Yes. Yes, and as an ambassador on the other hand has filed a law case against the man that said this, and this man have come publicly to, to lay, you know, to apologize to Dr. Bassi, even pleading to the populace to help him and tell Pastor Blessed to forgive him, that he just said it, that's of just for cruise. He didn't say it to annoy him or what. But you are saying it, and this thing you said went viral. More than millions of Nigerians view this. And you expect Pastor Blessed to just forgive you and wave it just like that when you're tarnishing the young man's image and that of his family. And you just want to break people's marriages just within a twinkle of an eye because of your own greediness, because of your mouth. You see, this mouth, this your tongue can put you, can may or my you. I keep saying it. This tongue can may or my you. It can put you where you don't want to be today. It can put you where you don't want to be tomorrow. It can make you to go higher. It can degrade you. So it is late for you to always control your talk to avoid had I know tomorrow. It is very, very vital. This is what I have to say concerning all this saga issue, concerning all this DNA result issue. Enough of all this. Allow this woman and her family to have peace in their marriage for crying out loud. Enough of all this fake news going here and there. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to tell us your, your, your opinion in the comment section. Turn on the notification button so that you get notified once I upload new video. Thank you guys. I love you.